Now we are going to go more deeper and deeper. So in the workshop or practice, it is like, like you are learning a driving or cycle. When you start cycling, first you sit on it, then you will fall, then somebody helps, then slowly, slowly you are able to drive. For everything, it is like that. So even the apostles, it was like that. We need more practice, very specific practice. So, uh, uh, these are the ways we may not have this type of an atmosphere in our uh, mission exact place where we work 
but as the group we should meet like this and then we can have interactions and practice so we have to know more about holy spirit that is what jesus taught us even at the agony jesus was going to have the great agony the last night he is thinking about his agony but at that time he said it is good that i go then only the holy spirit will come so there is a need of uh, learning 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 jesus is a teacher he said you have only one teacher and in the sermon on mount he called the disciples they went up on the mount and he sat and began to teach began to teach and he said the holy spirit also will teach you holy spirit will teach you and the beauty of the holy catholic church is this that we have a teaching magisterium teaching magisterium and nowadays everything is available through <laughs> mass media through the websites so we have to be update we have to be updated about the teaching teaching yeah now first thing comes to my mind is in acts of apostle chapter 2 in acts of apostle after they experience the pentecost how they did their their ministry their ministry they began it is explained in acts chapter 2 42 and 46 acts chapter 2 very clear very clear direction chapter 2 42 maybe all of you can read that shall we read that everybody can read that this gives us a very good idea how to proceed how to proceed acts chapter 2 42 they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles number 1 they devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles then second and to the communal life a community life and to the breaking of the bread that is the eucharist sacrament celebration of the eucharist and to the prayers so now when we look in our situation we have prayers correct we have early morning ring 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 everybody is in the chapel we are praying breviary prayers and we have the breaking of the bread we have communal life but are we really having do we really dedicate our time for receiving teaching teaching of the apostles in acts of apostle first thing they have written is first of all there has to be a teaching they devoted themselves in learning and teaching now i want to give this as a testimony of my life now i am more than 33 years in this work of the lord i am up to date with the teaching 
I follow the teaching of the apostles, that is, the Pope or all the Popes and Vatican Council documents and charism of the Catholic Church. Popes, now recently Pope issued an apostolic letter on confidence relating to St. Therese. St. Therese is the patron saint of the evangelization. And it's a very simple, very simple teaching. How many of you have read that teaching, La Confidence? How many of you read that? Can you raise your hand? How many of you read the Pope's apostolic letter on St. Therese, Confidence? How many? Okay. It's very, very simple and there Pope Francis says about you, follow Therese, her way of evangelization is, she said, Jesus, draw me, draw me towards you. And then, <laughs> like an interesting trick, <coughs> Therese very cleverly says, draw me. Then she says, when you draw me, I have some people whom I love. They are also naturally drawn to you. <laughs> when you draw me, I have some people whom I love. I cannot leave them. You must draw them also. So, who are they? They are the whole world. <laughs> So St. Therese's way of evangelization, the, way, the type of prayer, simple prayer, confidence. And for Francis has written there, she had a, she had a simple prayer, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Think like that. And it becomes like her breath, like she's breathing. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. So, there is a saying, if the prayer do not work, change the prayer. <laughs> we have to, we have so many routine prayers. Okay, you must do that. But up. Other than that, we need to have certain prayers which should work for our ministry. <laughs> A couple of days back, I write for some magazines. Now, the KCBC's talent, talent magazine, I am writing on catechism regularly. So they wrote me, uh, the article has not come. We have to please hurry up. Oh, then I, I asked the Lord, who oh, I am not able to write. I am so tired. Then I said, Lord, I cannot do this. I am only a pencil in your hand. Jesus, you said you have come to serve and not to be served. Please serve me. <laughs> Please serve me, Jesus. Please serve me. I have to somehow complete this article today. Please serve me. Please give me the idea. Give me the inspiration. Even please hold on my hand and write it. I don't know. Within five minutes, suddenly I got such a power and motivation. I jumped out of my bed and started writing. It's done. <laughs> In fact, it is so to say, work of evangelization is get the things done by Jesus and Holy Spirit. 
you know what i mean get the things done by jesus and holy spirit they both are ready to help us helper when we think about helper now you have a helper in your house what is she doing she is cleaning toilet or washing we call a maid servant a helper but holy spirit as a helper is not like that holy spirit like a boss but he says i am your helper he is god a god is ready to help you jesus says i have come to serve you ha huh. so we must take up this track this is the track that is how all the saints like saint teres or saint uh, catherine of siena this catherine of siena was the 24th child in her family a family of 25 children and those days everybody were not educated she had no education she did not know how to write and read and yet she became a nun even when she was in the convent she never knew how to write the only one book in the name of catherine of siena is called the dialogue the dialogue she listened to the lord and whatever she listened she tell and somebody write it and she became the doctor of the church even she was instrumental to instruct or to to request the pope the lord said to her you send a message to pope that france is not the place not the seat of the pope you must move your seat to rome the place which is which is soaked with the blood of the martyrs she dictated she said to one of her companion sister please write the lord is telling a message to pope <laughs> the community people are scared right the lord is telling you write your holiness the lord want you to move to rome friends is not the place and the message the pope received he took the decision that is how the papacy came to rome by very illiterate person who do not know how to read and write the lord is using you simply google her biography you can know all these things and if you if you don't have this book in your convent you please ask your superior to order this the dialogue the dialogue it is one of the very good book wherein you can have how the lord is communicating to a simple soul so we have so many such testimonies of the such great saints like saint john of arc when she was 17 years or 15 years old the lord is telling her joan i want you to go to the king of france again france <laughs> and tell him that he should fight and get the kingdom back and you will lead the army <laughs> again she was so scared oh how can i say this to a king that she will lead the army but the lord is telling 
when the lord speak and when we hear he gives us that power to do that and john of arc communicated this to the king king was shocked a king of 15 year old is going to lead our army so first he did some enquiry and finally he invited her to the palace and he wanted to discern how this girl is telling is true or not that she has got in she is the lord is speaking to her so the the king the way he tested her veracity 